Inside this tiny home may be an answer to unravelling the horror of Zika. Jacqueline had twins born at exactly the same time of the same mother into different lives. Lucas, six months, is huge, an unstoppable ball of energy, full of new wonder at life. Yet Laura, his twin, has microcephaly. She hasn't grown as fast. Even her cries are silent. And she can't breastfeed. She can't crawl, sit, hold her neck up or wrap objects. Jacqueline didn't know she'd caught Zika until three months after they were born. Laura had the virus in her blood, but Lucas didn't at all. Doctors think their genes may contain a vital discovery about why Laura was susceptible to the disease. No one asks God for a special needs child, but we feel privileged that if they find the resistance gene, we could help other children. As health teams spread out across Brazil, like in this Rio suburb, to clamp down on mosquitoes and stagnant water ahead of the Olympics, Doctors are looking at six sets of twins, one in each pair with Zika, one without. If these researchers can find the genes, they may be able to make pregnancy here less terrifying. If we can pinpoint what are the variants, what are the genes that are involved, we could have a genetic test that would uh, test all the mothers that are pregnant and say, well, you are at risk or you are not at risk. In Recife, where the disease has hit hardest, science is racing to catch up. Here they're researching the real enemy, the mosquito, and discovering that perhaps the government is missing something in its war on one breed of the insect, the stagnant water-loving Aedes aegypti. So what's the most important discovery you've made? That there is probably another species involved in Zika transmission besides Aedes aegypti, another very common mosquito called it Culex. So the government Southern. only has part of the picture by yes. saying it's one breed of mosquito, you found it in another one. Yes, and, and this one is much more common than Aedes aegypti, that's the problem. And it's more dangerous because it breeds anywhere, right? Yes, and it's in much more countries, like in the United States and in Australia, in some countries in Europe. Thank you. Here she walks into where they've managed to infect the Kilix with Zika in the laboratory. They're looking to see if it passes the virus to its offspring. And she says that in some places where there's been Zika, there's no Aedes aegypti mosquitoes, but there are Kilix. Could the Brazilian government's main effort have missed out some key mosquitoes? A frightening journey of discovery where questions mount.